Hey, 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 welcome to a new tutorial. Uh, this is for a slime block driven 3x3 door uh, that can be that can have a glass um, door material without seeing any piston heads. Um, it's pretty quick and pretty smooth. Beautiful. Um, you do see the pistons very briefly in the opening sequence, but uh, there's not much not too much that I could do about that. This was designed for XP Crafted um, and it uh, was designed primarily to fit within the very particular space requirements that he had. Um, but uh, people are apparently asking for a tutorial, so here is it. Let's get on and build it. So we're going to start by choosing where our door is going to be. So I'm going to Put the bottom door frame in. Now these need to be an immovable block. I'm using obsidian because it's easy to use when you're in creative. So I'm going to pick a dis direction and we're going to go and dig three blocks out and replace those with our obsidian in this case. And we're going to place two pistons just at the end of that line of obsidian. I'm going to place three slime in front of those and six glass or whatever your door material is in front of that. In the other direction I'm going to dig two like that and replace those with the obsidian and I'm going to place three pistons on this side, three slime and three glass and you should have something that looks like this. Okay so we're going to come through here and we're going to make a hole in the ground that uh, starts in line with these pistons and ends in line with those pistons. It's going to be two blocks deep and two blocks wide um, like this and this is to hold the timing circuit that dictates how long the door is open for. Okay so we we'll come along like this. Brilliant. Okay um, so we're going to grab our redstone and we're going to place a block here and redstone dot another block comparator pointing out of the block and then redstone another dot of redstone two comparators facing in the other direction and then a block and that's our timer then we're going to join we're going to close this side of the door by placing a torch here and a block on top of that Beautiful. Then we're going to close this side of the door by placing a redstone repeater on the normal delay and then a block with redstone on and a block with a torch on, then an obsidian block and then we're going to place a block with a repeater on facing this direction on two ticks of delay and then another block with a dot of redstone here and a block in the corner like that. Beautiful. Then we can get our aesthetic block and our immovable block and we can fill in the floor here and the side wall with obsidian next to the slime and then whatever block you want there. Um, now we're going to join our timing circuit and uh, whatnot to the first of our buttons on this side. So we're going to place a button on this side and a torch on the back of that block like so. Then we're going to put a block here with redstone and a torch. Dig down there, put redstone and then a repeater on the maximum delay facing in that direction. Then we're going to go around the other side and we're going to do a very similar thing. We'll place our obsidian door frame here then our any other block here, button there, so it's on the same side as the button on the other side, torch on the other side of that block. That's going to power that redstone, which is in turn going to power this block and turn off this torch. I'm going to place redstone here, I'm going to dig down one, put redstone in there, then we're going to dig down two, I'm going to keep digging down two until we're in line with this here, I'm going to dig down two there, and we can join that all together like so. Wonderful. So these buttons will actually do half the job now. Beautiful. 
Um, so what we need to do is we need to delay the retraction of this bottom piston quite significantly. I'm going to do that. I'm going to place blocks here. I'm going to place block on top of that redstone so that it doesn't um, connect to this circuit. And we're going to place comparator facing in this direction, comparator facing in that direction. Join them together with redstone there and there and place redstone on that block there. Brilliant. And then we're going to wire in these two pistons. I'm going to place obsidian block there. I'm going to place a repeater on two ticks of delay here. A block down here with a repeater on maximum delay there. And we're going to shift click a, a block onto the back of that repeater. One onto the back of that repeater. Two more blocks along. Put a temporary block there so we can put an upside down slab there. Break that. Redstone up there and along there. And we hit the button. Beautiful. It works a charm. Nice. Okay, so um, undoubtedly you're going to want to tidy this up a little bit more. Um, so when it comes to uh, putting the rest of the framing around it, please remember to use immovable blocks along here, anywhere where the slime blocks may pass. Uh, you can place then your any other blocks outside of that area to suit your taste of aesthetics. Um, if you want to cover up the view that you can see through here, okay, you can just see into the wiring room there, then you can do so. Uh, you will need to use immovable blocks to do it, like that. And in some places, you're not going to be able to um, place a block, for example, here, because there's a torch. You just put one on the outside, it'll be fine. Um, and at this top bit here, place one like that, it'll be fine. The other side is pretty much a similar thing, with one exception. This block here, if I place our obsidian there, that will actually break the door because of this redstone. So if you're wanting to do this, it's quite simple to get around that. Place an upside down slab there and a button or a lever there and it will just stop that redstone pointing into the block. And you can go ahead and do a similar job with the obsidian around here. And then around this repeater, you'll need to make it as a little box um, and the door will still work fine. But you look in there and it's there's no view through to the wiring room it depends if you want the redstone on display or not okay so that is that um i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope you found it useful and uh, until next time guys take care of yourselves bye bye